the second biggest prize pool next to Worlds, an insanely stacked lineup and a unique format. Of course, I'm talking about the upcoming Gamers 8 LAN event in Saudi Arabia. With that many things hyping this tournament up, I wanted to give it a shot at predicting the outcome of it, as there's more than just the typical three matches. Most of you guys probably already know how this tournament works, but for this prediction, there's a very unique thing, and I said it in the intro, it has a unique format, and that is essentially crew battles. So the first match is always going to be a 3v3, then the loser gets to choose between 2v2 and 1v1, then we're going to have another 3v3, and then the game mode that wasn't taken in game two. Now, this changes a few things, because if a team is good at 3v3s, they might not have a good 1v1 player, and therefore lose most of these, and this is going to hinder them in the process, and this makes this tournament so interesting. And we're going to kick things off with group A here. I had ground zero losing this to Oxygen. Oxygen has very good 2v2 potential, but also a good ones player in Joris. So I think they're going to have the upper hand here. Then Optic versus Gaming Gladiators. They have to take this with a quick 3 and 0. I think they are superior in every aspect. They have very good ones and twos players. So they're going to take this. Then Vitality. There's no stopping them because they not only have the best 3v3 at the moment, they also have one of the best 1v1 players in Zen. And their 2v2 is incredible as well. It doesn't even matter who you're going to take. Even Redosin and Alpha as a combo is very scary. So I think they're going to 3-0 Oxygen right here. Then Optic versus G2. This is a bit more of an interesting one because I think Chicago and Atomic can play once. But Optic towards the end of the season in 3v3 was looking better and better. And they also have good ones and twos players. So I had it a close one, but it went to Optic here. And this means G2 in the lower record against Ground Zero. There, however, I have them going through and then Oxygen versus Gaming Gladiators. And then we have G2 versus Oxygen. And this was a very close one. I think in the 3v3, G2 should have this. But I think the ones and twos might be stronger on Oxygen's side. So I tossed G2 out here already. And then Vitality versus Optic. And <laughs> you gotta give it to Vitality once again. I had my explanation for them already. And then Optic versus Oxygen. I think Optic then is just gonna be too strong for Oxygen. And then we have Vitality and Optic going through in this group. Face Clan, very special situation. They're gonna play with Chrome instead of Cypical because of health issues. And this might have them going out earlier than expected in this tournament. But against Pioneers, I feel like they're still gonna have the upper hand. And Fury then versus Limitless. Have to take this, obviously. But then in matches like these, obviously Chrome is not a bad player. I think he's at 2k MMR now that he's prepared for this tournament. But he hasn't played at the pro level in a while. And therefore, I think the 3v3s will always go against FaZe. And therefore, they won't have a chance against Kamin Corp here. And Kamin Corp additionally has one of the best ones players in Vatira And a scary 2 setup as well. Then Falcons versus Furia. And Falcons now with Nupu or Naupo. Whatever you feel like is right, I'm calling him Naupo. And he's an exceptional ones player as well. So I think Falcons might be extremely strong in this tournament. And therefore, I think they're going to take down Furia even though they have players like Yan. And he definitely will make it a close one, but it's not going to be enough against Falcons. However, against Pioneers, they will have an easier time now. Against Limitus, obviously, FaZe won't go out, so it's still going to be a 3 0. But then FaZe versus Furia. And I think this is where the journey ends for FaZe if they didn't lose the 3v3. They only have a chance to come back with the 2v2 or 1v1. And there, I think Yan could win against First Killer. And also in the 2v2, First Killer and Miss, a strong duo. But Furia's 2v2 should be at least at the same level. So I gave it to Furia. And they will have to play Kamin Corp here next because I gave this one to Falcons. I think they are pretty much even. And I was a bit torn between giving it to Kamin Corp or Falcons. But at the end, I felt like Falcons would play with some new hype. You know, the early romance of having a new player on the roster. And I think it's going to help them here to win against Kamin Corp. Then they're going to bounce back, however, against Furia. You could give this to Furia as well, I believe. But I think in the 3v3, Kamin Corp should still have this. And therefore, they're going to advance. And now we move forward to the other two groups. And here we kick things off with Twisted Minds against Elevate. And I think Twisted Minds is going to have this, even though Elevate might take one game off them. And then we have NIP versus Monkeys. And this is a pretty interesting matchup because in Rezias, Monkey has a very decent 1v1 player. He was at the chart cast duels, made it to the upper bracket, winning against Daniel 3-0. and And then losing to Chronic just to face Daniel once again. And then losing 3-0 and in this one. So if he's on, he's pretty scary. But I feel like in every other aspect nip should have this and that's why i have it being a close one but nip advancing right here and then bds versus twisted minds i think bds has one of the strongest 2v2s and 3v3s and that's why they should have this right here i gave it to them in a three and one and then we have genji versus nip and we're gonna look at the child cast duels once again and there you can see that abjack made it very very far he almost got to the final four just barely missing out against crr and chronic even made it to the grand finals so the 1v1 is looking extremely 
extremely good for Genji right now. And in 2v2, I feel like if Abjack and Chronic team up, it's also going to be very strong. And that's why I think Genji is going to have a good tournament right here. Then NIP is going to toss out Elevate and Twisted Mind is going to advance against Monkeys. I think Twisted Mind's 3 3 is going to be superior and then the 2v2 probably as well. And that's why I have them going through right here. And they're also going to go through NIP in my opinion. And that brings us to the top three of that group. And it's BDS versus Genji. And I was a bit back and forth who I want to give it to. At the end, I gave it to BDS, but then I had Genji winning against Twisted Minds right here, both in a 3 and 2. I think they are very close, but at the end, I wanted these two to go through. And here we have V1, and I think they are one of the biggest beneficiaries of this format because they probably have the strongest 2v2 in the entire world. And that's why even if they lose the initial 3v3, they get to pick the second match and they can always go for the 2v2 and then they should win that. So I think they are in a very good spot to get a good tournament result right here. Then Secret has a very good 1v1 player in KV1. Koi doesn't and that's why this was an easy choice right here. And Liquid versus V1 and I also gave this 2v1 just because of the format. Liquid top 4 at Worlds. Uh, but even though if we look at this tournament once again, Atau got pretty far but it wasn't like insane. I think the 2v2 is still going to be very strong but if you're facing V1, what can you do? And that's why I have them losing this right here and then Rule 1 versus Secret also a bit of a 50-50 in my opinion but I feel like Rule 1's 3v3 might be a bit stronger and that's why I have them winning this right here. Then Secret versus Sue. I just think they're going to be winning the 3v3 and the 1v1. So they should definitely advance right here and toss Sue out. And then Liquid is going to bounce back right here against Koi. It's going to be an easy 3 and 0. And they're going to survive one more round right here. And I just think Liquid is going to win this because of that 3v3 strength. If they feel in it like at Worlds, they're going to go past Secret definitely. And then V1 versus Rule 1. And this was quite an interesting one because I feel like the Twins versus Daniel and Beast Mode would be an absolute banger 2v2 match. I could imagine the twins to get a dub in that series and therefore I gave this to rule one but I think if v1 faces liquid again they're gonna take him down once again and that's why I have version one also going through in this group and this guys is where it's getting really interesting because we have vitality versus v1 and the problem for v1 right here is that vitality are just them at the moment they're just gonna play with the hype they got from winning everything so I think they're gonna continue just just like that and if we one would have faced any of the other teams i think i would have had them go through but against vitality it's not going to be enough it's going to be a close one but it's not going to be enough then bds versus kcop we saw the 3v3s plenty of times now but with 2v2 and 1v1 involved it might be a different story i think the threes are pretty much even and the 2v2s might be in a slight favor towards bds but i think vatira is going to have the upper hand when it comes to 1v1s and that's why i have coming corp going through here and then falcons i said it it's gonna be on a big hype train as well with their roster move now and now put on there i think they might take down optic and then rule one versus gen g and i could have done an all mina semi-final in mina but i decided against it in a very close one i have gen g going through here just because chronic is looking that sharp in one we wants at the moment i think he could win against rubas and that's why i have gen g going through here and then the same story as in the quarterfinals applies to vitality i think they are just too good for everyone that's why they're gonna take down kami Corp with the four and two and the way more interesting match is gonna be this one down here falcons versus gen g and i once again didn't know who i want to give it to but at the very end i decided to stick to my initial plan and let falcons have a very good tournament right here and play off the hype of the roster move but at the very end in the grand finals it's not gonna be enough vitality just gonna win the sixth in a row and also win this one right here four and two at the very end they won me one and three v three is probably gonna be too strong for falcons and then it doesn't even matter if falcons gets the two v twos and that's why i have team vitality winning a 500k in riyadh so guys that is my prediction of the gamers a tournament let me know yours in the comments as well and by the way guys does anyone know if you can watch party gamers eight because that would also mean we could boot up the stream and watch some games together so if you have any info on that also let me know and if you enjoyed this video sub to the channel it would really mean a lot and i see you guys next time